Hi everyone, welcome to my PHP tutorial video. In this video, I'm about to explain how to use PHP spreadsheet to generate Excel file in PHP. So what is the difference with the PHP Excel library? In fact, this library are made by the same creator of PHP Excel. As the readme says, PHP spreadsheet is simply the next version of the PHP Excel which breaks compatibility to improve the code base quality and because all effort have shifted to the PHP spreadsheet PHP Excel will no longer be maintained so you should start consider using this library instead of the old PHP Excel for your next project let's take a look at the documentation this library supported more file format and also able to make a PDF file out of spreadsheet you need PHP version 5.6 or newer to run this library and also some PHP extension for the installation this library needs composer to manage its dependency for those who are not familiar with the composer composer is a dependency manager for the PHP at its getting started page you can see how to install composer on Linux by using the installer either locally or globally or in Windows you can download the executable installer, run it, and it will take care of the rest. Composer is a text-based program, so you need to run it from command terminal. In my machine, I already have Composer. Before proceeding, make sure that Composer is already up and running in your local machine. Now let's make a new directory in the root directory. From your terminal, change the current working directory to our new directory by using cd command followed by the path we can install php spreadsheet by using its repo name the repo name format should look like the lowercase github url for now let's just paste the composer command composer will make a new json file which contains package name installed in our project the composer will try to download the required package required by the PHP spreadsheet. Looks like we're encountering problem here. If we read the message carefully, we will see that one of our package requires an PHP extension called file info, which somehow is not available in my machine. Now let's make it available. Open the PHP configuration file, usually called php.ini. Find the text file info. It seems that file info extension is commented out in my configuration, so let's fix it. You may also run through the same problem but with different extension in your machine. If that happens, just do a quick google search on how to enable the required extension in your PHP. If nothing goes wrong, the required dependency will be installed without any error. You can also see here that PHP spreadsheet recommends you to install libraries to handle PDF and render chart. There is a vendor directory created by the composer. Inside, you will find all package installed in this project and all dependencies. There is a file called autoload. We just need to call this autoload in our script in order to use PHP spreadsheet. The good thing of using Composer is you can add libraries like FPDF, DOMPDF, or TCPDF with just one command. And use the same autoload file in order to use it in your script. In order to use this library, you can use autoload.php or directly call bootstrap.php inside PHP spreadsheet SRG directory. Basically, boot does the same thing, which is calling the autoload. I recommend you to use autoload.php instead. So let's make the spreadsheet script, I name it simple1.php. First, just call the autoload file. You can use either include or require. In this example, I use require. Then, to use the spreadsheet library, we call them here using use php office backslash php spreadsheet backslash spreadsheet. For now, 
Let's just see the getting started page and copy the hello world script from there. Now let me explain what this code does. First, we call the overload script. Then load the PHP preset library by its namespace. And also the xlsx weather class to make an excel file. You can read more about PHP namespace in the link I've put in the description. Then we make a new preset object. Get the current active seed with this first seed. Set the value of cell A1 to hello world. Next, make an SLS egg object with the preset we have just created. Save it into a file named hello world.xls egg in the server. Now let's execute the script in our browser. Sorry, seems like I forgot to start the Apache server. See, there is nothing happening in the browser, because as I have said before, the file result is saved in the server. Now what if instead of saved in the server, I want this file to be downloaded in the browser. To do that, we can simply redirect the page to our file after generation is done, but I don't recommend this way. Let's just try it out for now. Looks like I forgot the semicolon, and the name is somewhat wrong. As I have said, I don't recommend this way. Now, the recommended way is to use IO Factory class, which came with PSP spreadsheet. IO Factory are built-in class which allow us to read from and write into files. IO Factory are also shipped with another PHP Office library, such as PHP Word and PHP Presentation. Now, let's copy our script into a new one. Let's just remove the writing part and use IO Factory instead. We will use create writer method of IO Factory. Also, do not forget to load the IO Factory class in our script. We do not need to save the Excel as a file, so we save it directly to PHP output. Let's try it out. It looks scrambled, just a lot of strange character. This is not what we expected. This is because what we do is making an Excel binary file, yet the server and the browser dress it as a normal text file. Let's tell the browser and the server to thread this file as an Excel file by changing the header. Let's do Google's magic to see what is the Excel header looks like. Let's copy the content type header to define the content type as an Excel file. It is now working, but the file name is somewhat wrong for an Excel file. 
let's add something to the header And now it is working as expected. This concludes this chapter of tutorial. I put the link to the source codes in the description. Feel free to ask anything in the comment section. Please kindly like my video and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next chapter.